So I wasn't actually going to include this particular topic in my original stream, like what I planned for this stream originally. Um, but right as I was scheduling this to start, I saw this tweet with this TikTok in said tweet pop up on my timeline. And I watched it. I did pre-watch it. I wanted to quote tweet it. I wanted to get my thoughts about it out in a quote tweet. But there was just so much that I had to say about it. I realized that I had to save it for on stream uh, to give you guys my entire take on this. Because, whew, oh boy, <clears throat> it, it's depressing. It's bleak, okay? It's quite bleak. <clears throat> Sorry. I've said a million times now. Uh, I, I don't use TikTok. I don't understand TikTok. I don't know what the deal is with that website. But from everything that I've heard about it, from like video essays and documentaries and uh, admittedly quite biased sources, TikTok is uh, basically a 24-7 race war with a, sprinkle, a light sprinkling of pedophiles. You know, you got your EDP uh, is apparently still on there. And has not been banned, according to some uh, Twitter followers of mine. EDP445, the pedo guy, uh, still on there, apparently. Still on TikTok. Not banned, as far as I'm aware. Uh, yeah. So, apparently, TikTok is a pretty big issue with pedophiles, or at the very least, like, young, underage kids sexualizing themselves, and then, like, kind of monetizing older, mostly older men that are watching that. Um, it, it's a really weird dynamic, but I, I've seen a couple of videos that talk about this and how it's an issue. Um, it does get overblown and sort of, like, uh, turned into a, a moral panic from time to time. But overall, I do think TikTok has some pretty serious issues. Uh, ranging from its algorithm and the way that it just destroys the attention span of anyone who uses the app, all the way to, uh... And the types of people and the types of communities that have been allowed to be fostered on the app. And, uh, whew, well, let's just say this particular example is one that, uh, it just, just makes me feel sorry for anybody who tries to advocate for progressive ideas on TikTok and has to contend with this tainting their, their image, okay? Uh, this TikTok, or this tweet, this TikTok was posted in this tweet, which is criticizing said TikTok, and it's captioned, Drew Barrymore enjoying the rain is apparently problematic. I don't know who Dr Drew Barrymore is. Do you guys know who Drew Barrymore is? I I I am I like, am I having a Zoomer moment, a Boomer moment, a, what, what kind of moment am I having right now? She's an actress? Just an old-timey actress. Okay. Okay, well, uh, apparently... Well, let's just watch this, okay? And I'll, I'll let you guys give your thoughts uh, via the chat. I think your reactions will be evident. <laughs> you and I both know that you are capable of enjoying the rain and frolicking freely without filming it and then posting it to TikTok. Now, you've just co-signed, okay? You've just co-signed at least 3 million, 8.5 by 11 front and back people who just go out of their way to disrespect and dismiss the boundaries that black creators have set. And now you're one of those people. So, I guess my question would be, why? Why, why is it so important to all of you to treat us like we don't matter? <laughs> okay. Frankly, I have no fucking idea what she was talking about. Um, I, I, I'm genuinely... I'm genuinely floored. What is happening on TikTok? Wh what is... What, what is happening on, on, on TikTok? She did this specifically to spite that black content creator? Wait, really, Gail M? Is that true? Are you memeing or is that... Is there lore behind this? Wait, is there a story? 
I'm just gonna blame this in the CIA and move on. <laughs> no, wait, you're, you're just memeing? Okay. Yeah. This is one of those moments where you really just want to say, oh, haha, <laughs> nice try, CIA. Oh, nice try, and just move on with your day. But, but, are, are you guys sure? Uh, I, I wouldn't, I don't, th I don't think this is a, uh, I don't think this is Fed posting, my friends. I don't think this is a, uh, <laughs> I don't think this is the CIA trying to make the left look bad. Um, I think this might be indicative of a very bizarre, uh, sense of moral superiority that people on TikTok have when they feel like they're calling people out, uh, that, uh, 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 have done some perceived wrongdoing. A perceived wrongdoing, by the way, that, uh, you know, th there's... It, it's something that... I can't even see the connection. Like, I tried really hard to be like, okay, maybe... My first thought was, okay, maybe... Right now, there's an issue where... POC communities with low income are facing droughts and heat waves. And so this actress posting a video where it finally rained. So she went out and she was frolicking in the rain on video because she was happy it finally rained after a drought was disrespectful to black communities where it wasn't raining and thus there was issues with heat and lack of water. That is my, the closest approximation to like a, 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 a semblance of an argument I can find from any of that, okay? Uh, and I think I'm going to go with that. I think I'm going to go with that. I think that's what I'm going to do because that is the closest, the closest possible thing I could really pull from that, that any like progressive person could try to like whittle down at to try to criticize this little clip of a woman playing in the rain for, um, but really, what I love about this video the most, let's let's re let's rewatch this bit really fast, okay? I I'm gonna play it to the end, to the part where it happens, and uh, and I think you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's let's watch. You and I both know that you are capable of enjoying the rain and frolicking freely without filming it and then posting it to TikTok. Now, you've just co-signed, okay? You've just co-signed at least 3 million, 8.5 by 11 front and back people who just go out of their way to disrespect and dismiss the boundaries that black creators have set. And now you're one of those people. So, I guess my question would be, why? Why, why is it so important to all of you? All right. I feel like this particular shot is, uh, is where it's most noticeable. What, what should stand out here if this is a creator criticizing, I, I, I suppose, a, a wealthy white woman, uh, an affluent white woman who's rubbing in the fact it's raining in her area on, on TikTok? Uh, what, what stands out here? What stands out? Have you noticed? I'm pretty sure she's wearing AirPods. I, maybe AirPods have gotten cheaper. They may have. Correct me if I'm wrong. But last time I checked, AirPods were so expensive that I was too afraid to Google how expensive they were. I was like, oh, well, I, I don't, I don't want to wear, I don't, I don't want AirPods. I don't want to, I don't even want to like think about getting them or like look up how expensive they are. Cause I, I'm going to want them because they'd be handy for like wireless, being able to listen to videos and being able to listen to music and podcasts while I'm doing like work around my room or while I'm doing chores and stuff. Uh, I, but I, I'm, I'm going to want them, but I cannot afford them. Uh, $300. You can buy knockoffs. You, but they don't look fake. Yeah, I, I, I do think it's pretty funny 
that she's wearing AirPods in the uh, in the video. Are they not Apple or are they skinned because they um, Apple AirPods aren't black? Are, are they not black versions of Apple AirPods? If there isn't a black version of Apple AirPods, then I don't want them. I like to, well, I mean, it's not evident. I mean, actually, it is kind of evident. But if you look at everything on my desk, I tend to go for mostly like black and white and a little bit of gray in there. That's that's my color scheme. That's what I like. Um, anyway, uh, I, I do think it's pretty funny that, that she's wearing <laughs> AirPods when criticizing somebody for, I guess, their status. Because if you're wearing, I don't know. Maybe I am being nitpicky. All I'm saying is it's a bad luck. My $20 earbuds look like that from the front face, do they? Maybe they are knockoff. Regardless. I don't know. I feel like if I... Hold on. Isn't... Wouldn't TikTok, like, uh... Those are fake AirPods? 100%. <laughs> I, I like how we've become... We, we've whittled down to... We're, we're trying to judge whether or not this woman's AirPods are real or not. <laughs> hey! This lady's got fake AirPods! Oh no. I gotta get out of here! High level political discourse. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, I have no idea what she's talking about here. Is there like context we can find? Because I'm... Okay, this is her explanation. Wait, yeah, we got it. Okay, this is her explanation of how Drew Barrymore's TikTok was anti-black, okay? Uh, respectfully, no. You are very off base here. I'm confused on how, why, how and why... Is her enjoying the rain problematic, and how does that correlate to black folks? Here's my response to all of you that are quote-unquote confused. Um, uh, not gonna lie, the, the way that she puts confused into quotes here is a little bit, uh, a little bit sus. It's a little bit sus. The, uh, the resp when progressive people respond to genuine confusion with, like, anger or disappointment or frustration, it's not a good look. It, it gives off a very, very bad vibe. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do this. <sighs> All right, let's hear it. I, she's wearing different glasses, but I think she's wearing different, like, n new, the same... What are those called? Like the, 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 like mon monocles, monocle chains, like the, the, the things that the, 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 the chains that go on glasses. I don't know. She's got a lot of glasses. She's got a, she's got more women be shopping. Am I right? Chat? Why is it an issue for me to stand firm in what I believe? Male black creators frolicked in the grass. Female black creators started frolicking in the rain. Okay. Oh, poor Drew had a hard childhood. Says the white woman to the black woman in America. I'm not picking. Nobody is picking on her. I pointed out the obvious. But what y'all really are not catching is the reactions. Like, okay. Say that was a complete and total stretch, right? Y'all still went out of your way to demean me, put me down, call me out my name, dismiss my opinion on my own TikTok, but defend Drew and her hard childhood? Because she's the only one who ever had a hard childhood. She's the only one who's ever tried to get her inner child, like, out and have fun. Child, that's the thing. I simply stated she was frolicking in the rain, which meant she opened the floodgates for people who go out of their way to disrespect black creators. No, but y'all didn't hear that. No, but explain it, please. Wait, you said that before. I, I need more. I just need more. I need more. Is she actively driving? Is the background moving? Let, let me see if the background's moving. If she... If she if she's actively driving while recording this TikTok, I'm going to cry. Uh, 
Xander Hall here. Okay, I'll check this out in a moment. Uh, one moment. Yeah, I just heard. <laughs> oh my God! Wait. No, the background was moving. The background was fucking moving, chat. She's driving while filming this TikTok. Bro, no. No. You'll get banned from Twitch for doing this, by the way. Did you guys know that? Um, you're only allowed to uh, stream, like, while driving on Twitch. If you have, like, a mounted, like, a dash-mounted uh, camera, that's, like... And you're not allowed to... Unless you're stopped at, like, a red light, or the car's, like, completely stopped, pulled over, then I believe you're allowed to take your hands off the wheel and, like, do something with the, with the camera or your phone or whatever. Or you have to have a passenger who's recording. Um, but other than that, like, if you're doing this and you're on Twitch, literally what she's doing and she was streaming, she'd get banned. I, I believe it's a perma, too. That's against Twitch's TOS. Xander Hall, plot twist, her car is on a, parked on a freight train. Actually, no, she's got one of those, like, uh, like what they would do in old movies where it's, like, like, on wheels, there's, like, a moving paper background, and that's right outside the window and being lit by artificial light yeah okay let's hear the rest of this we need more we I, i'm trying to understand what her argument is i want to understand i i, I want to understand it open the floodgates for people who go out of their way to disrespect black creative but y'all didn't hear that y'all just heard oh my god she's calling us racist his name is a racist you oh my god blah, 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 blah. so Lord, I just, mm, I need caffeine. I, I, I've not had enough caffeine for this. She's driving on the fucking freeway. She's driving with one hand on the fucking freeway while recording a TikTok. You guys see it, right? The phone's shaking, so she's holding it. Uh, Guys, you, you realize that cars shake, right? I remember when when driving from uh like when me and uh my now ex were driving from Florida to California, I was recording B-roll, like random like video for like the the road trip and I could not for the life of me get video that wasn't bumpy and bouncy. Whether I was holding the phone myself or if I like wedged it or got it onto like a mount you just cannot get a fully stable, non-shaky camera in a car. It, it just, it's really fucking difficult. It depends on your suspension. I mean, really good suspension. You, maybe it's a lot less bumpy, but there's going to be some shaking. Uh, so she might honestly have her phone on like a, a clipped onto her, uh, 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 onto her steering wheel or onto her dash. That, or she could be, like, in the back seat. But that does not look like the back seat. <laughs> I hope it's a Tesla, but if it is, it would be a bit, uh... It would be a bit ironic. It would be ironic. It does look a little bit... Wait, is that, like, a... Is that one of the... Is that, like, a tinted sky thing? Wait. No shot. No shot. I think this is a Tesla. It's a nice car. Like, the upholstery alone makes me think it's a nice car. I like how we're... <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Um, the phone is duct taped to the steering wheel. Okay, no, we need, to re we need to continue, okay? We need to find out what her argument is. I need to understand. I need to understand why this woman is arguing this. I, I just, I, I need to. I will not be able to sleep tonight. I will be kept up all night wondering, what the fuck was that lady trying to say if I do not find out what the fuck she is trying to say? I don't know. I can't understand what her argument is. To disrespect black creative. But y'all didn't hear that. Y'all just heard, oh my God, she's calling us racist. His name is a racist, you oh my God, blah, 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 blah. So, Lord. I just, mm, I need caffeine. I, I... Uh, Posadas John, uh, so they, uh, explained it. Hold on, let me see. P 
Posadost Jalen. Look at my link. She thinks Drew is stealing from black TikTokers by following this trend. Uh, huh, huh. Oh, no. Blativity.com. Interesting uh, name. Black men are frolicking and bringing some much-needed joy to the internet. Frolicking is the latest trend on social media, and it's black men who are leading the charge. <laughs> I, just, I don't know why. I don't know why. But something about the fact... I, I just didn't expect to wake up today to read an article that was specifically about black men on TikTok frolicking in the grass. But you know what? I think everybody needs to be frolicking in the grass more. We're living in a time... Where we need to be frolicking in the grass at least once a day. If you're not, if you, if if you're not out, fro if you ain't up frolicking right now, it's one a.m. Who's up frolicking? Who's up frolicking right now? I'm tempted to go outside and frolic in the grass for a few minutes. And just leave you with the chair for right now. Grass. What is that? Good. Good response. That was a test. <clears throat> Some men took to TikTok to skip gleefully in open fields, while others have taken on the challenge in their own backyards, frolicking in style and bringing joy to the internet. Based. Love that. This is wholesome. 100. Big chungus. Okay, so basically, she frolicked in the rain, and, and this lady thinks... So Drew Barrymore frolicked in the rain. So this lady thinks that she's taking space on TikTok from black creators who... Are, on, are the only ones allowed to do this trend. I see. Uh, when it, it looks like, if I'm being honest, it was just her being happy that, that it was raining. Uh, if I'm being uh, I'm sorry, but TikTok doesn't get to claim everything is a trend, okay? TikTok will be like, hmm, this guy's doing the new breathing trend. What the fuck are you talking about? This guy's doing the new drinking water trend. This guy's doing the new blinking trend. Like, not everything that... Not everything's a fucking trend at TikTok. Drinking Monster is a trend, though. Except for when I do it. I, I'm original and based when I drink Monster. I don't, I've not had enough caffeine for this. So, that being said, I'm sorry. And I'm really not screaming at you, but... This is ridiculous. Y'all are so reactionary. You're so ready to react. Nobody listens to respond. You know what's actually kind of sad? There's a really, really good chance that a significant amount of the people that went after her were probably genuinely racist or like chuds. Like, maybe at the core of it, she has a genuine, like, positive or good, correct sentiment at the core of her argument. But TikTok seems to incentivize being so morally superior to other people. And it also seems to muddle your mind and make you focus on the tiniest, most inconsequential, inconsequential issues for clout. Um, that it always seems to bear, like, bear itself in basically as people complaining about other people doing things that don't hurt anybody. It just kind of feels nice and looks nice to criticize them for it. And that's what this is. A failed attempt to... Sig literally a, a failed virtue signal. A, fa a, fail a failed attempt to signal her virtue. And like I said before, maybe there's a core of, of good sentiment there, but... It really does feel like it's just meant to talk down to others and make her feel like she's better than other people. <clears throat> Only black men are allowed to frolic now, as the law intended. Someone's saying something. Yeah, someone said that somewhere at some point. At one time. Possibly. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I saw that original TikTok and I was like, what the fuck? I need to, I need to talk about this on stream. Uh, but boy, did we just go down an absolutely brain-numbing uh, rabbit hole. So, this, uh, I feel, should be pretty, uh, you know, evident when I say not everybody who claims to be on the left and who claims to be progressive 
is actually worth taking seriously. All right? So if you ever hear somebody say, Xander Hall doesn't take blank creators seriously or criticisms from blank people seriously, well, don't, don't let woke scolds use Edpole to try to destroy you, okay? It's not what it's about, all right? <clears throat> Xander Hall lives of TikTok, put her on blast, so she did a bunch of so she did get a bunch of chuds. Exactly. Hey, that's what I said. No doubt a bunch of people that went after her were actually racists and chuds. That's what's sad about it. Is that she's probably gonna get even more cemented in whatever batshit insane thing that she'd been led to believe by the moral superiority clout game of TikTok. She's just gonna get more ingrained into that because the people or at least the loudest people that are going to be criticizing her are going to be Nazis and racists and white supremacists. That's going to happen. And she's going to get more ingrained in her in her ideas. Same thing that happens when some like uh some you know edgy white boy. Like remember that kid who got um remember that one kid who tweeted uh guacamole penis and and the n-word or something? And uh, he was 12 or 11 years old and got doxxed and, like, death threats and everything. That was, like, four years ago. That kid's, like, a 16-year-old Nazi now. Almost certainly, right? Does anybody else remember that? Who remembers that? Does, it, does anybody remember that story? And if they do, does anybody know what actually happened with that kid? Because there is no reality that I can think of in which that kid didn't end up becoming a little racist 4chan using Nazi teenager. Docs at 11, yeah. <clears throat> Basically, an 11-year-old kid, it was not public information that the kid was 11 years old, but uh, an 11-year-old kid ran like this Twitter account. I think it was like a small meme account. Um... Probably didn't even have more than 100 followers, though I could be wrong. And they just tweeted, uh... Well, I... I I'm not even telling this story, because it's too, too fucking dangerous for my career, okay? Just Google it, alright? Anyway, yeah, the, the kid tweeted that really shithead uh, behavior, but I mean, the kid was 11, what... I mean... <laughs> What do you expect? And then the account had 500 followers. Yeah, it wasn't a big account from what I remember. And uh, the kid ended up getting like a bunch of death threats and um, eventually was doxxed. And uh, imagine doxxing someone, finding out, or like, imagine finding out someone's personal information. You find out they're 11 years old and then you still dox them anyway. That's pretty disgusting behavior. However, that kid is definitely a Nazi now. If I had to take a guess, he definitely is. I have no doubt it would have a very similar effect to that. When uh, people on the internet... People on the internet are very, very, very susceptible to falling into communities that are more accepting of them. It doesn't matter how much you just kind of like you know, talk yourself up and you're like, oh, I love conflict. I love being in, I don't like hug, bo hug boxes or echo chambers. Nah, nah, human psychology dictates everybody is more, it gravitates more to spaces where they're more accepted and, you know, feel more comfortable. Um, and when that happens, uh, spite can drive you into some really, really bad places politically and in regards to social spaces. Welcome to capitalism, my dude. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I think what's going to happen here. Anyway, uh, the lesson to learn from this is that do not let the desire... This is the lesson I want you to learn. Even if you truly believe all of your political beliefs are 100% correct, even if you believe your like, moral core is 100% morally pure or whatever, that does not fucking matter. If you conduct yourself and if you tell yourself and start to believe that you are morally superior to everybody else you are gonna look like a fucking asshole it doesn't matter if you are really morally superior to everybody else you're gonna look like a fucking asshole and you're going to do everything that you stand for a disservice if you try to advocate for it while being said asshole so 
Moral of the story, don't be an asshole. Uh, well, anyway, if you enjoyed this segment, please consider leaving a like. I really do appreciate it. It's not a hollow gesture of support. YouTube actually pushes my content, both my streams, my videos, and my uh, VODs and everything, just the channel in general, a lot more when you guys like my content. In fact, uh, the higher the ratio of likes to views is, the more new people end up getting my videos and they're recommended. So hit that fucking like button. Smash that like button. And of course, if you want to see more from me on YouTube and you want to see more from me on other platforms, you can subscribe, ring the bell icon, and follow all my social medias, which are linked down in the description below on pretty much every platform I stream and upload on. And of course, if you want to see more from me, uh, uh, and you want to continue to support my content, and you want to financially support my content, and ensure that I'm able to pay my bills, and continue to feed myself, and pay to keep this content rolling out to you guys, then you can always support me financially directly by donating, subscribing, or gifting a sub on my website, xanderhall.com forward slash live, or supporting me financially on YouTube, Twitch, Streamlabs, Stream Elements, or even Patreon. Links in the description, of course. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. You're fucking based! And have a good one.